What's happening everyone? We're back today with another video. This one's going to be quite a simple one, just for the fact that I keep getting asked this quite a lot now, ever since the video dropped, and obviously since the car was known to have a Cosworth Inlet Manifold. So we're basically going to show you how to actually root or plumb in one of these, if you want to call it that, once they are fitted to the car, because a lot of people are not too sure as you get a lot of replica manifolds with a lot of different takeoffs that are really, really not necessary. I don't know why they added so many of them. But yeah, today we're just going to do a quick little short one on how to actually plumb one of these in on a 200 spec setup. Obviously, if you're running a boosted setup, it's going to be slightly different, but this should give you a rough idea on how you're going to do this. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with underneath the car itself. As you can see, there's not a lot of room to play uh, under here. However, you can see my AirTech baffle plate just at the top there with a line going to the catch can. As you well may know, this obviously will normally run to the inlet manifold itself. And you can't really get a lot of access underneath here. But if I can just worm my hand in, here is where you would join your PCV to the inlet manifold if you was wanting to keep it. However, you can see mine has just been capped off with a bolt, nice and easy. And then obviously the PCV line here will just run straight to a catch can, which I'll show you in the engine bay. Okay, so in true English fashion, I don't know if you can see that with the rain, is here. This is the pipe, as you can see, this is the pipe that goes from the catch can to that baffle plate underneath the car. Um, it's pretty much the easiest way to run it on a 200 spec setup because you've got no breathing issues whatsoever then. It just runs to the catch can with a breathing filter down there and then obviously to your rocker cover here. But if you do want to run the actual PCV itself, you can still do that by just running a breather filter here and then obviously running from the baffle plate straight to your inlet manifold but obviously more power you put for it um, the less efficient in the sense of br engine breathing wise it's going to be and you could lead to potential misfires if you're supercharged turbocharged etc so that's why i've gone for this route here however things will be slightly changing with my setups going to where it needs to be but as for the actual manifold itself a lot of people ask this one um, as you can see, there's not really many things to actually connect up on these. I think people just overlook this a bit too much. You've got your evap line that will run straight back to the fuel tank. That literally goes to this fitting here. And then you've got another small fitting down here on my one, which is just looped together. So technically you can just cap them off and unless you need to take off for say like a wastegate, then you'll use one of these lines to run it straight back to a wastegate. Uh, and so forth and then obviously you need a push fit fitting be sure to measure the diameter of this i'm pretty sure it's uh, either an 8 or a 10 mil for your brake servo and most of these fittings here are 1 8 inch mpt and i will get the size of this brake servo one as well if you haven't got it because i'm going to be changing this line to something different as you can see, it's just not very tidy and doesn't suit what I actually need because this is the same line here that will go to your servo. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it when it comes to these manifolds. They're not as crazy as what people think. I know that a lot of people have loads of takeoffs on these for some reason. Never really understood it. I know that a lot of them have holes here and you can buy a blanking plate to actually blank this off but as you can see my one's actually capped off anyway so I don't need to worry about it but yeah that's literally it on these don't think it's rocket science they're not overly complicated and I know there's not enough information out there on them and I know my video when I fitted this didn't really explain how to do it so that's why I'm here doing it today because I know these manifolds are still getting fitted quite often and I want people to be able to just watch this and not give themselves a terrible headache. 
so that's all for today's video guys i'm sorry it's a short one but we just didn't really have anything going on this week uh just due to work schedules getting in the way and stuff like that but i'm hoping this will be somewhat useful to you maybe in the present or the near future but anyways that's all for today and i'll catch you in the next one